Well, that, I mean, that's already wild that you could trace it back to uh, an article and that your magazine could take credit for that. It's very, very cool. Look, look, look how far we've come with it. Every single time we've released a fast, I've been kind of stubborn or bullheaded or ambitious about um, not only talking about that, but building it into the movie and a very clear tag uh, on Fast and Furious. At the end of the movie, we end in the middle of a scene of these cars pulling up behind the prison bus. On the end of Fast and Furious 5, we end with a photo of Letty. On Fast and Furious 6, we end with the introduction of Deckard Shaw. And this movie is so sacred and so complete that all I can say is, brace yourself. You know, the person that used to challenge me the most was Paul Walker. So every time we'd come out of a movie premiere, we'd leave everybody else, it'd just be him and I to the side. And he'd always tell me, the best one's still in the can. So when the tragedy happened, I made a promise to him that I would, that I would do everything to make this the best movie in history. And I think everybody that was a part of the film did the same thing. Because what more could you give him than a film that would be his legacy? We started this whole thing in, on November 1st and they had a whole red carpet premiere just for a trailer launch, which uh, just never been seen in movies. And made everybody, especially me, feel like they were honoring Pablo. There's a, a, a finale in the end of this movie that uh, I, I might be stretching to do this, but I could almost attribute to my three-year-old son at the time because uh, I'd given him a, a charger and we were working out the finale and we were trying to raise the bar on the third act. And my three-year-old son took this charger and did something with it. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna, on April 3rd, you're gonna see that come to life. This is Vin Diesel, you're watching Vibe.com.